In this video, we will show you how to create 3D screen effect in Wondershare Filmora. First, drop your footage onto track 1. Then, go to the video and change the footage's Y position to 110. Next, under the Boris FX Stylize folder, apply the BCC Cast Shadow effect on track 2, matching the effect's duration to the footage duration. Scroll down in the effect settings, place the playhead at the start, set the orbit radius to 1.10, and turn on keyframe. Set the orbit tumble to negative 32.50 and turn on keyframe. Then set the orbit spin to 35.40 and turn on keyframe. At 3 seconds, change the orbit radius to 1.30, the orbit tumble to negative 9.90, and the orbit spin to 14.70. At 7 seconds, change the radius to 1.10 and the spin to negative 12.90. At the end, change the radius to 1 the tumble to negative 20.90, and the spin to negative 33.60. This will give you a nice 3D screen movement. Next, apply the BCC Unsharp Mask effect on track 3, matching the effect's duration, and change the radius to 3. Apply an adjustment layer on track 4 from the media. Set exposure to 28, contrast to 41, vibrance to negative 5, and saturation to 41. To create a focus point on a particular area that you want to highlight, apply the BCC Fast Lens Blur effect to track 5. Place the playhead at the start and change the iris scale to 3. Scroll down, expand the pixel chooser, and launch Mocha. Use the pen tool to create a shape around the focus point. Then select the blue points and slide them towards the inside to create a nice circle. Adjust the circle position according to the keyframe used in the BCC Cast Shadow effect to create 3D screen movement. Export the project and save it. Close this window, scroll down and expand the Pixel Chooser mask, and invert the mask. You should now see a focus area, and the rest of the area is blurred. Change the feather to 96. To add a light, go to the Plus Light folder and apply the BCC Plus Relight effect to your footage. Expand the mask and select Shape Eclipse. Expand the light settings, change the brightness to 80, displacement to negative 100, blur X to 0, turn off the blur gang option, and set blur Y to 0. You can choose any color for your light. Change the aspect to 86, radius to 75, and fall off radius to 44. Finally, apply the auto enhance effect. Now it's time to render. Rendering may take a longer time as this is a heavy effect. That's it! We use all the effect on different layers so that now you can place any footage on track 1 and you will get nice 3D screen effect inside Filmora. If you're interested in more creative editing, check out filmora.wondershare.com.